Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for requesting this private session of tapping that I'm getting ready to do with Jennifer. If you have not already listened to our episode together on Old Chicks No Shit, I definitely recommend starting there, getting a little bit of background, and then diving into this with us and tapping along. So Jennifer, what do you want to work on today? We need to kind of dial in on a specific topic that we can tackle. What feels like it would be uh, so Let's try the worthiness one. Because we mentioned okay. that in the episode and uh, okay. yeah, let's do that. Yeah, most importantly, we want to focus in on an aspect of it that is going to help you personally get an energetic shift. And I will make sure I give all the right, you know, instructions so that other people can adapt this for themselves. So how does this, um, how do you feel like you're affected by um, worthiness or lack thereof in your life? Um, it's really about um, expanding into new areas of my business. Okay. Right. Leveling up in my business. Yeah. All right. When you think about that leveling up and that expansion, what kind of feelings come up for you? Um, doubt. Like, do I have what it takes? Um, do you feel that anywhere in your body? Yeah. It's always solar plexus. Okay. And what does it feel like there? It's like, um, like a tightness. Okay. What other kind of thoughts come up for you when you think about expanding into new areas of your business? Um, like hoping that I'll be able to serve at the level that I want to be able to serve. Um, you know, hoping that I can, that I am enough to sustain it. <laughs> um, what kind of changes are you talking about stepping into? Are you able to put those into words? Um, uh, being more visible, trusting in my own instincts. Okay. Um, what comes up for you when you think about getting more visible? That putting myself out there feels risky. Like I'll be judged. Like if okay. I do this thing and it doesn't work out, then I'll be, <laughs> then I'll be judged. Okay. And that would make you feel? Um, rejected. Okay. And Not then worthy. when you think about, okay. And what do you feel about worthiness when you're thinking about these changes and these next level things that you're aspiring to? What do I think about worthiness? Yeah, like um, what, what feelings come up about not being worthy of it? Well, it's like, like I said before, it's just like really doubting myself, like not trusting myself okay. to be able to expand into it. Okay. Um, when you think about trusting your own instincts, what does that bring up? Um, like it, it sends me into a lot of analysis, like over analysis, <laughs> <clears throat> like, you know, is this really the right thing? Can I trust this? You know, maybe I'm making a mistake, like, you know, that type of stuff. Okay. Um, If I could like wave a magic wand and you were able to expand into those areas of the business that you want to expand into, what would that feel like or look like for you? And if you oh, didn't have um, doubt or that, the worthiness hangups or anything. Like living as the most expanded version of myself, uh, feeling confident, powerful, um, feeling fulfilled because knowing that I'm serving at a higher, the highest levels, right? That's how, as I expand my abilities to serve at a higher level expands, um, it feels free. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do a round of tapping and just see what we can shift energetically around this. Okay. Now, sometimes if we tap on something like a headache, we know right after the tapping session that we've 
cleared it because we don't have the headache anymore. When we're working on things that are a little deeper, this is kind of like a first layer. But you may notice that, you know, you show up a little bit differently or you feel a little bit differently when you go to do perhaps some of the tasks or action steps that are associated with this expansion. Um, you know, maybe the next time you're going to step into a more visible thing or whatever it is that you're, you're looking to do, there's a, a more open feeling around it. So that's what you'd want to pay attention to. So we always like to get a rating before we tap um, zero to 10, where like 10 is like the most activated and zero is like, I'm good. So when you think about this, like the self doubt and the, the worthiness, where do you feel like you are on that scale of zero to 10 with like feeling like it's, it's not possible or you're not worthy of it? Uh, I'd say maybe six. Okay. Six, seven. All right. I'm going to write that down for you. For any of you who are examining your own worthiness, listening to this and maybe something that you're stepping into, write down your number and also think about your own characteristics of this instead of Jennifer's as we're tapping through it. Maybe you don't feel your, um, your doubt or what have you in the solar plexus. Maybe you feel it in the heart or the chest or what have you. So just adjust this for what aligns with your own personal experience. EFT does favor specificity. So the more specific we can get for our own personal stuff, the more breakthroughs that we can make in a shorter period of time. Um, you can also simply think about your own issues while we're working on Jennifer's. It's amazing how we can release things even when we, we don't know exactly what words to put into the round. So Jennifer, I'm just going to start by like tapping on some parts. We're going to tap on the side of the hand. We're going to do the top of the head, the eyebrow, the side of the eye. Eye, under the eye, under the nose, under the mouth, the collarbone point, and then under the arm. Those are the points that we're going to be working with. I'll be doing them and saying something and you'll see me. So you can just kind of mirror after me. Okay. Um, I'll say a line, you'll say it back. And um, okay. unless I completely am off base, um, we shouldn't need to change anything. But if I am, please change the words. Also, okay. feel free, like, because you're very... Um, emotionally intelligent, feel free to ad lib if you want to add in something or if it comes up for you like an aha moment, like let's handle it as it comes up instead of like okay. waiting for later. So, okay. all right. <clears throat> and we're going to start by just taking a nice deep inhale through your nose. We're tapping the karate chop point on the side of the hand. Does it matter which side I'm tapping? It doesn't. You can use either oh. hand. Oh, okay. um, you can switch. Doesn't make any difference. Same with all the rest of the points. Some of the points we have two of. We can use both. We can use one. Doesn't make any difference. Okay. So, all right. Even though I have a lot of doubt about expanding into this next area of my business. Even though I have a lot of doubt about expanding into this next area of my business. I'm open to the idea that I am more than capable of doing it. I am open to the idea that I am more than capable of doing it. Even though I worry that I won't be able to serve at the level that I want to. Even though I worry that I won't be able to serve at the level that I want to. Or that I'll be judged. Or that I'll be judged. I want to love, accept, and forgive myself. I want to love, forgive, love, accept, and forgive myself. And even though I just don't know if I have what it takes. Even though I don't know if I have what it takes. I want to accept myself anyway. I want to accept myself anyway. All right. Now we're moving to the top of the head. All this self-doubt. All this self-doubt. I feel really activated when I think about expanding into new areas of my business. I feel very activated when I think about expanding into new areas of my business. Side of the eye. I feel all this tightness in my solar plexus. I feel all this tightness in my solar plexus. Under the eye. Just hoping I'll be able to serve at the level I want to. Just hoping that I'll be able to serve at the level I want to. Under the nose. I don't know if I am enough to sustain it. I don't know if I am enough to sustain it. Under the mouth. And it feels really risky when I think about getting more visible. 
And it feels really risky when I think about getting more visible. Collarbone point. I'm afraid I'm going to be judged or rejected. I'm afraid I'm going to be judged or rejected. So I just have a lot of doubts about taking that next step. So I have a lot of doubts about taking that next step. Under the arm. Is this really right? Is this really right? Am I making the right decision? Am I making the right decision? Top of the head. What would it take for me to release this doubt? What would it take for me to release this doubt? Eyebrow. What would it take for me to feel worthy of expanding in this way? What would it take for me to feel worthy of expanding in this way? Side of the eye. Clearing all this doubt and unworthiness down to a cellular level. Clearing all this doubt and unworthiness down to a cellular level. <clears throat> Releasing this tightness in my solar plexus. Releasing this tightness in my solar plexus. Under the nose. Calming the voice of my inner critic. Calming the voice of my inner critic. Under the mouth. Amplifying my own intuition. Amplifying my own intuition. I've expanded into new areas many times in my life. I've expanded into new areas many times in my life. Collarbone. And I have so much proof that, proof that it has been worth my efforts. And I have so much proof that it's been worth my efforts. And I'm still sitting here, breathing, living my life. And I'm still sitting here, breathing, living my life. And I'm ready to expand further. And I'm ready to expand further. This feels like an aligned next step for me. This feels Under like the an arm. aligned. Oh, this feels like an aligned next step for me. Top of the head, just allowing myself to connect and align with my true sense of worthiness. Just allowing myself to connect and align with my true sense of worthiness. Eyebrow, feeling how amazing stepping into this next version is going to feel. Feeling how amazing stepping into this next version of me is going to feel. Side of the eye, just aligning with how good it feels to be my most expanded self. Just aligning with how good it feels to be my most expansive self. Under the eye, feeling so confident and worthy. Feeling so confident and worthy. Under the nose, just calling my power back into the present moment. Just calling my power back into the present moment. Under the mouth, the only place I can do anything with it anyway. The only place I can do anything with it anyway. And clearing these stories and beliefs that tell me I can't do this. And clearing these stories and beliefs that tell me I can't do this. I deserve this freedom and fulfillment. I deserve this freedom and fulfillment. Under the arm. And I'm so excited and delighted to start aligning with it. And I'm so excited. <clears throat> what was the word? I'm so excited. And delighted. And delighted <laughs> to align with it. To start aligning with it. All right, we're going to tap the sides of our fingers now. I'm tapping the side of my thumb <clears throat> with love. 
with love. Side of the pointer finger, acceptance. Acceptance. Middle finger, tolerance. Tolerance. Skip to the pinky and understanding. And understanding. Back of the hand between the ring finger and the pinky finger. Okay. I call my power back into my body. I call my power back into my body. I am whole, complete, and worthy of this expansive change. I am whole, complete, and worthy of this expansive change. All right. I'll take a nice deep inhale through your nose, Jennifer. Feel free to stretch, yawn, whatever feels right at the moment for you. Tell me what you experienced there. Um, there was a point where I was just very aware of my solar plexus and kind of things moving. At first I thought, oh, there's a lot of emotion there, but it didn't kind of come to the surface. It was just, just there. It was just, and then it passed. Okay. How does it feel there now? The tightness? Um, like it's definitely reduced. Yeah. 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 Good. Much less. Yeah. So, yeah. When you're, when you're going on that zero out of 10 scale now, where do you feel like you are now when you're thinking about your ability and your worthiness and the doubt and everything else? Hmm. I put it at a three. Awesome. Cut it in half. Yeah. A few minutes time. Yep. So yeah. Beautiful like work. Way to lead into it. <laughs> I can feel the emotion kind of bubbling up in you a few times there. Some of yeah, those I thought, I thought oh, hitting. it's going to, it's going to come out. And then it, did, it didn't. <laughs> oh, well, I, I'm always a little careful because I never know how far people want to go on these sessions that get shared publicly. <laughs> but if you yeah. feel like you know where that thread was kind of getting pulled and it was going to, you know, get you somewhere, that's always what I would say. And anybody else who's listening to like whatever's left for you that makes up that three, that's the thing to work on next. So now that you kind of see a little bit of how to do that, if you know what that thing is, you know, even though I really don't feel totally worthy, I love expressing, uh, accept and forgive myself. You can yeah. go back in and kind of work through that next layer of feelings and emotions, because that's how we get closer to the root and figuring it out. But I know not everybody yeah, likes that. That was cry. interesting. Yeah, you know, so. the part, the word that you said was I did where you said I deserve the like, that's where I was like, oh, like there was definitely like something there when you said those words Very specifically sense. deserve, which I was like, oh, that's mm. interesting. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, as simple as like, even though I'm not sure if I deserve this, I love accept and forgive myself three times. And then, you know, deserving, you could just focus on the word deserve. Mm. deserve interesting deserving i deserve it what would it take for me to deserve it why am i not aligning with deserving it like just question the, right, right. the word and the thoughts see what unblocks there so that might be a next step for you or for yeah. someone else listening thank you for trusting in me to lead you through that and to oh, hold space for, awesome. for worthiness. yeah you're welcome absolutely and for anybody who did this along with us i always love to hear from people feel free to send me a dm over on instagram at Teresa lear lamine and let me know where you started and where you ended and i'll bet you'd love to hear from people too right jennifer would yes like absolutely <laughs> I, I would love to hear from uh, how people experience this and if they found it helpful for sure yeah how should they reach out Oh, so you can just <laughs> reach out to me either on Instagram, Facebook message, or you can email me directly at jennifer at oldchicksnowshit.com. Beautiful. Thank you so much for tapping with me. And thank you all for tapping along with us. Thank you so much. That was awesome. <laughs>